in, in the first chapter of Acts, the risen, resurrected Christ before he ascends to heaven, he tells his apostles, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And he defines this ever expanding witness that starts where you are and moves out into the surrounding area. Judea is the first place you get to when you leave Jerusalem. It, it's, it's the surrounding area. It's, it's not a familiar area. It's where you bump up against things and people that are unfamiliar, but it's where Jesus sends us. The irony of this whole thing is, with the ministry center being in our former neighborhood, is that what was our Jerusalem is now our Judea. You know, we, Northern Hills was our Jerusalem once upon a time, but we relocated the church here, and this campus is now our Jerusalem, and Judea is now the community surrounding us, which is our former neighborhood of Northern Hills. So we also have a space that we will give, be giving classes for children, for adults, but also we will have a space where we will be serving the community through food pantry, through diapers, or whatever we sense the community needs in this area to be able to have a better life. I think one of the great things that happen in ministry is that the transformation is not just on one side. Everybody is transformed. So one of the things is we know that as Northern Hills United Methodist Church, by us going to the ministry center, our lives are transformed. We are learning about God through what they teach us too. And it is incredible to see how God puts people from different paths and together we learn more about who He is and how wonderful it is to be part of this family. When I think about the ministry center, I think about transformation, spiritual transformation. I think about how lives are changed and will be changed. I think about the people that we're going to be impacting, but not just the people that are here. We are going to be impacted. Some of the, uh, the best ways of spiritual transformation, the things that happened in my life have been when I've served. And I think that is one of the things that's going to happen here at the Ministry Center is as, as our congregation begins to serve more, they're going to experience a transformation that, uh, that's going to change their lives. We've never done anything of this magnitude that is totally about other people. This is not a satellite campus that we hope to get another 500 new members from who will give money back to the church. This is purely a fund for other people. This is, this is no, no vested interest in this other than to serve God and to extend His witness and His kingdom out in, into our, to our Judea.